That's correct. When you stop a girl on the street, you need to be directly in front of her and also leave enough space so that she can slow down and comfortably stop. So I just saw you and I'd love to get to know you, so do you have a minute? No, actually. No, not even... why not? Why did you ask that? Gives her the opportunity to say no. If you ask, do you have time, do you want to talk to me? More than likely, if it's in the beginning of the interaction, she's going to say no. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure I've seen you in my yoga class. Do you go there? No, I don't do yoga. You don't? No. Not at all? No. We should try. Not the best way to start because she can just say no and brush you off. Hey, excuse me. Can I tell you something really quickly? Sure. I just saw you and wanted to let you know that you look really elegant. I uh, love this skirt as well. <laughs> it's really summery. Thank you. This is good because you've given her a nice compliment, it's direct, it's made her smile and it's made her feel like speaking to you. So it's, it's a nice confident way to start in the street. So what's your plans for today? I'm um, actually going to the park uh, to feed the yeah. squirrels with my friend. What? Feed squirrels? Yeah. And ducks or s squirrels? <laughs> no, just the squirrels. These we, little uh, guys, yeah? Yeah, we got them to be our friends. What do you of. feed them? Like hot dogs? <laughs> <laughs> um, almonds? Almonds? Yeah. That's their favourite, is it? It seems to be. That's nice. Well, they're really cute, aren't they? They are very cute. You yeah, like animals? Fun. I do. Mm, nice. Yeah. That mm. sounds fun, actually. I never thought of that. But buy some almonds, go feed the squirrels. You should try it sometime. Okay. And what are you doing today? Yeah, I was just walking. There's a nice park down there. And then I'm going to meet some friends, but I've got like 40 minutes and that's why when I saw you and I thought you looked friendly, so that's why I came over and said hi. Okay. In the early stages of an interaction, you actually do want to make most of the conversation so that she has a chance to relax, get comfortable talking to you, uh, snap out of the mindset that she was in, thinking about what she's doing and where she's going. So that's the right one. We might hire some bikes and go riding around the park. There's like a nice spot where they rent out bikes and it's on the lake. And yeah, but you, so. you ride bikes in there? Well, I'm English. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we do, like the penny farthing and the, the suit on okay. and sitting really up, up straight. That's very no, fancy I'm, for bikes. I, I will change. I will okay. change yeah. Yeah, speaking of squirrels, you can help me with this. Okay. Uh, I was thinking of getting my hair cut. What sure. do you think? Do you prefer long or short hair? Um, I kind of like the long hair. Yeah? Have you ever put it back? What, like in a ponytail? Yeah. Yeah, I tried that. Is it, maybe try it more? Could do, yeah. You think it looks it's still like masculine, it's alright? I kind of like it. Okay, nice one. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> sure. Not the best option, and psychologically it's important to remember that asking for advice on dumb stuff as if you don't know what you're doing is not such a good thing to do in the early stages with a girl. My name is Richard, by the way. Hey, nice to meet you. And your name? Alexa. <laughs> it's good that you have a name. I was just waiting for it a while, but it's good that you have one. Thanks. Rather than just asking her name, you can always introduce yourself. It's a little bit different to what most guys do and it's a positive difference. What kind of things do you like to do in your free time? Mm, I actually don't have a lot of free time. I work, oh, a, I work a lot, so when I'm not working I like to be outside. Yeah. Um, yeah, I try to be outdoors as much as possible. I actually bike where you mentioned. Okay. Um, yeah, I just try to be outdoors. So you're one of these active people that's always doing stuff? <laughs> yeah, it's hard for me to stay sitting down. Not couch potato? Well, every now and then, but in general, no, more active than okay. down. I'm kind of semi-active. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I do some active stuff, but actually I prefer it when, you know, someone else plans everything and they like come to this and I always say yes. Okay. But given the choice, I often just chill at home. That's I like fair. chilling.
Have you ever tried climbing? You know, like on these walls? <laughs> I've heard of it. Um, I've always wanted to, but I haven't yet. You know, it's very cool. We've got some place that we go to. I've only been like four times, but it's really fun. Very good exercise and just really cool. So you should definitely try it. Yeah, I would like to. When you're speaking to girls, it's good to be passionate about something and a good choice is something you love to do, a hobby. Now, why don't you see if you can go out and sell someone on it, make it so that they're smiling like, yeah, I'd like to do that, that sounds great. So it's, it's the right option in this case. Okay, so you said you like biking and rock climbing. Yeah. Um, any other like outdoor activities? Yeah, loads of stuff. Um, yeah. Racket sports. Like tennis? Um, yeah, tennis and also squash. You know what squash is? <laughs> it's the English thing. I don't know I about mean, most it, sports no. were invented in England, obviously, but I think they play it everywhere. It's, um, it's like when you're, you're usually inside and you've got a wall like in front to the sides and in the back and you okay. can hit the ball like anywhere. And it, I think it's the best exercise. You're constantly running and... Yeah, yeah. it sounds it's very cool. kind of dangerous but fun. No, oh, no, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> the ball is only um, like that big, so even if it hits you, it's not too bad. Okay. You and can smash each other with, with the rackets, but <laughs> it rarely happens. Hmm. You should and try it. I might sometime. Uh, you said you work in IT? Yeah, I work in IT and actually I love my job. I think that, uh, you know, people think IT is boring, but at the moment it's like the most exciting field right to work in there's so many cool companies i really love my job so happy to <laughs> to go to work every day and um yeah it's fascinating for me that's great if you have a job and you think it's boring that's not important um the thing that you need to do is show that you have passion for something if it's, if you do like your job even if you think other people are not interested speak passionately about it and you can get them to buy in, feel at least the emotion, even if they don't understand it that well. So, you know, don't worry about it being boring. Worry about how you tell others about it and hope that your emotion will be contagious. So do you always stop girls in the street? I'll oh, stop girls? No, no. Probably, when was the last time? Maybe I've never even done it. Really? Yeah, I just saw you and it just came to me. It's not something <laughs> I, I do at all. Hmm, all right. Yeah. This is the usual reflex response, but it's actually wrong because it's just dishonest and she knows that. Listen, I've got a few minutes. Why don't we quickly grab a, grab a coffee? Oh, I'd like to, but I'm actually going to meet my friends, but uh, I could give you my number. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, let's put it in there.